Well, good morning again, and uh, this is a Thursday. It's a great journey we have taken since we began on Monday. And I trust that today we shall be blessed as we look at the subject on making necessary adjustments. Now, charging through the savannas of Africa, and especially in our parks, one of the animals you meet is called the mighty lion, a fearless animal that is known as king of the beasts. Now, a lion, a lion actually possesses such courage and confidence and refuses to retreat at any threat or attack. And with a roar, actually, you will able to be able to tell miles away that there is a lion in the, in the area. Today, join me as we look at the subject, making uh, 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 necessary adjustments. And as especially, we shall be looking at the place of boldness. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this morning. Grant that the words that I share today minister to your people in a very special way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is. Now, friends, the Bible mentions that the wicked flees when no man pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. The Bible declares that the word lion actually is mentioned 155 times in the Bible alone. Now, maybe you're reading this today, but I want to bring to your, to your wonderful attention that boldness is one aspect of scripture that you cannot deny. Being doers of the word and not hearers only should make us bold. I want to know you to, to, to walk with me because it is important for you to know that God uses the lion to give us a picture of that when we, are, when we are listening to God, we need to actually be sure that God will sometimes lead us in certain areas that we must make necessary adjustments and it takes boldness. It is important for you to know not to mistake boldness with pride, because boldness will always position you to be up at a place of doing the will of God. How do you actually um, uh, 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 tap into boldness? I want to say that it is important to get, receive boldness, and we all receive boldness by meditating on the word of God until it becomes real in our lives. There's a, a dimension of God's word that when you meditate on, it becomes real in you and gives you faith. Meditation on the word of God gives you faith, and then when you get faith, you spur into action be with the boldness that, is, that, that God gives you. And so it is important for you to know that one of the best ways to grow up and, 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 and to make necessary adjustments in your life is to be bold. To look at scriptures and obey them without question. And look at what God is saying. Because what God is looking for is people who are confident in him. The wicked flees when no man pursues them, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. You know, let me just mention this. The Bible says in James, I mean in 1 John chapter 3 verse 7, Little children, let no man deceive you. He that does righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. So we do not say we are forgiven and then start to do whatever we want. When God has said we are righteous, we are righteous. So God wants us to be bold and to declare boldly that we have been called to be righteous. Abraham had to make necessary adjustments. Anybody who God spoke to had to make necessary adjustments. Even Moses, when God speaks to him at the burning bush in the Old Testament, he had to adjust and leave the sheep and follow God's orders. It takes boldness. The difference between your breakdown and breakthrough is in your boldness. Some of you are not enjoying the maximum of God's blessings because you're not bold. If I wouldn't have been bold, I wouldn't have been here today. It takes boldness to do what you're supposed to do. For all you who are married out there, it took boldness for you to talk to your wife to accept your hand in marriage. It takes boldness to possess what God wants you to actually possess. So what am I actually saying today? Boldness will give you testimonies. And the testimonies that God gives you will embolden you for victory to the next battle. The Bible says, David, 
actually talked, uh, talked to God and he said that, God, you are with me. It, despite the fact that Saul wanted to kill him, he knew that God was with him. 1 Samuel 17 verse 37 gives a testimony of how David said, God, you delivered me from the paw of a lion, you delivered me from the bear, and this Goliath will be one as those. I want to encourage you, be bold, confront your Goliaths, and you'll never regret. Friends, as we meditate on the word today, I charge you to be bold. I charge you to remember that God has called you to actually go beyond the norm and trust him and be bold in regard to what he's calling you to do. And you will be, you'll be amazed at what is going to happen in your lives. I want to close by the words of Acts chapter 4, verse 31. It says, and I, and, and, and I quote, it says, now the multitude from verse from, I mean, from, 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 from verse 31, and when they had prayed, the place where they were assembled together was shaken, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit, and they spoke the word of God with boldness. So what am I saying, friends? Be bold. It's a challenge I give you, even as we continue to reflect on the word of God this week. Have a blessed week. May God bless you and watch over your lives. Amen.